Bug bounty hunting is digital warfare, and the prize is real money. You're not breaking into systems to cause chaos. You're breaking in to protect them and getting paid like a beast for it. Companies like Google, Facebook, PayPal, Tesla, Amazon, and many more. They are literally offering thousands and sometimes tens of thousands of dollars to hackers who can find security holes before criminals do. Imagine finding a simple iDoor vulnerability and getting paid $5,000, or discovering a broken authentication and getting $20,000. It's not a dream, it's real, and it's happening every single day. Bug bounty hunting can completely transform your life, but only if you're willing to push through the struggle. And hey, if you're looking to speed things up with automation, I've got you covered. I made a full video titled, Get Your First Bug Bounty Fast with these automation tools and scripts. It walks you through the tools that can save you time and boost your recon game. Links in the description. Go check it out after this. Now let's get back to our topic. It's not easy. It will test your patience like nothing else. There will be days, even weeks or months, where you find nothing. You'll question yourself, doubt your skills, wonder if it's worth it. But when that first valid bug report gets accepted and when that first payment notification hits, it's like a dopamine explosion straight to your brain. Your heart starts racing, not just because of the money, but because you did it. You cracked the code. You saw what others couldn't. You proved you're not just playing the game, you are the threat. That's the real power of bug bounty hunting. It rewards those who stay focused, endure the grind, and obsess over the details. Stick with it, and eventually wealth, respect, and true digital influence will be yours. Some bugs pay like jackpots, and these are the vulnerabilities every serious hunter dreams of finding. Take remote code execution, for example. This is the holy grail. It lets you run any command on a company's server, giving you full control. Companies pay tens of thousands, even six figures, for this kind of access because it can bring down entire systems or expose millions of users. Then there's authentication bypass, where you find a way to sneak past login screens without valid credentials. This bug is pure gold because it means you've unlocked the front door to sensitive data. Another beast is SQL injection, an old school but deadly flaw that lets you manipulate databases and steal information, sometimes even take over the back end. And don't forget cross-site scripting, a sneaky bug that lets attackers run malicious scripts in users' browsers, stealing cookies, hijacking accounts, or spreading malware. Beyond all of these, there's a whole arsenal of high-impact bugs that bounty hunters chase relentlessly. Server-side request forgery is a major one. It tricks servers into making requests they shouldn't, letting you access internal systems and sensitive data hidden behind firewalls. Then there's insecure direct object references, or IDOR, a sneaky flaw where you manipulate URLs or parameters to access someone else's data, like private files or personal info. Privilege escalation is another giant. It's the path from limited access to full control over a system or application. Finding a way to elevate your privileges can mean game-changing payouts. These require creativity and deep understanding, and companies pay top dollar for reports that expose them. Each of these bugs can turn your hunt into a goldmine. These vulnerabilities aren't just lines of code gone wrong. They're keys to massive payouts, reputation, and respect in the bug bounty world. Master these, and you're playing in the big leagues. I highly recommend this book, Bug Bounty Bootcamp, The Guide to Finding and Reporting Web Vulnerabilities, by Vicki Lee. This book breaks down complex hacking concepts into easy, practical lessons that anyone can follow. It teaches you not just how to find bugs, but how to think like a hacker spotting subtle flaws and writing reports that actually get rewarded. Whether you're new to web security or looking to sharpen your skills, Vicky's Guide is a solid foundation to build your bug bounty career. Consider it your boot camp for turning curiosity into real payouts. But remember, you will never truly learn bug bounty hunting by just reading. It's like trying to learn to swim by reading a manual while standing on dry land. The real magic happens when you get your hands dirty. That's where platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and Port Swigger Web Hacking Academy come in. These aren't just playgrounds. They're battlefields where you train your mind to think like an attacker, to break things, and to discover hidden vulnerabilities in real-world scenarios. That's when you build real skill. After that, you'll dive into the OWASP Top 10 Vulnerabilities, the most common and dangerous security flaws that companies want you to find. These include injection flaws like SQL and command injection, 
broken authentication weaknesses that let attackers bypass login, and sensitive data exposure where private information isn't properly protected. You'll also come across XML external entity attacks, broken access control that lets you reach data or functions you shouldn't, and security misconfigurations that leave doors wide open. The real deal in bug bounty and hacking, it's programming. You've got to learn a language start simple, like Python. It's powerful, beginner-friendly, and used everywhere in cybersecurity. When you dive deep into one language, you don't just learn syntax, you learn how code thinks, how systems run, and how to find the weak spots hiding in software. Once you master one language, you'll find it easier to pick up others like JavaScript, Bash, or even C. The more languages you understand, the sharper your skills become, and the better you get at uncovering vulnerabilities that others miss. So don't spread yourself thin. Start with one, get good, and let your curiosity drive you to the rest. To crush bug bounty hunting, you need the right tools in your arsenal. Burp Suite is your go-to for intercepting and manipulating web traffic. Think of it as your hacker's Swiss army knife. Nmap helps you scan networks and discover live hosts and open ports. Wireshark lets you dive deep into network packets to sniff out secrets. For automating vulnerability scans, tools like Nikto and OWASP Zap come in clutch. And if you're cracking web apps, mastering SQL Map for SQL injection and Hydra for brute forcing is a must. Once you've built the skills, it's time to step into the real world. And that's where platforms like HackerOne, BugCrowd, and Synac come in. These are where you apply everything you've learned and get paid for finding real vulnerabilities in real companies. It's not just practice anymore. This is where the game becomes real, and every bug you find can drop money straight into your account. These tools don't just make your work easier, they amplify your impact. Learn them, master them, and you'll be steps ahead in the bug bounty game. Bug bounty hunting isn't just about luck, it's about grinding, learning, and leveling up every single day. Start with curiosity, fuel it with practice, and arm yourself with knowledge and tools. Stay patient, stay hungry, and the rewards, respect, and power will come. Now, it's your turn to take action. Get out there, hack hard, and own your future. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I love hearing from you. Stay sharp, keep hacking, and I'll see you in the next one.